Today I'm going to show you guys how did I construct the housing for the Hyung Young inverter that I do have with a Hayward pump that I put out several years ago. Now I show you how, you, how, how because my uh, inverter is going to be outside and exposed to the element. I made the little housing for it and I show you how did I build that housing and how did I run the wiring on it. Of course, you guys are familiar with the programming on it. I'm just using this. This is the format of the programming that I do have. At the beginning, I'm just going to run on with about uh, 300 seconds. That's five minutes with a maximum speed. Then I run on for about uh, hour and a half, I believe, uh, or two hours. Uh, yeah, hour, hour and a half, I run on with the 2000. And then uh, the 200 second i'm running on with the 2200 of course these are the hypothetically time i change this timing uh, the reason that i keep changing the time because i do have the booster pump and i want whenever my booster pump is coming on i run the pump a little faster to circulate in the air in my pool so the format is going to be like this at the beginning when the pump is coming on the I do have a blue heaven that the timer on is going to turn on the pump. I set that thing to be working as a one speed. So when the pump is coming up for 105 seconds, it's ramping up to the maximum speed that is 180 hertz or uh, 3600 RPM. Stay there for about uh, six uh, minutes and then it's ramping down for about 60 seconds to the 100 hertz and then stay there i do believe for an hour and a half or so and then it's going up to the 2200 rpm for one hour while my booster pump is on and then it's gonna when the booster pump goes off i set them up that that uh, the speed of the uh, hayward goes down to the 2100 and after a while it's going to go back again to the right in here to the 2000 and cycle through all that timing again Again, 2,000, 2,200, 2,100, 2,000, 20. So if you do have five of them, it's going to go through the five of them. If you just have a 2,000, so this keeps cycling through the 2,000. After it drops right in here, as long as you have the power connected to your uh, inverter, it's just going to stay at the 2,000 RPM. So all of this information, I already put them up on the uh, YouTube video that I put up several years ago. I just want to remind you, I was keep talking about cycling the timer. The timer that you're setting up, it has a two parameters. One is a timing, second is a speed. So for instance, for the 102, I'm using a 87. If you're setting the 87, that is gonna set the RPM for you and corresponding to it is gonna be 102 for how long? And then 88 is going to go with 103. 89 is going to go with a 104. So the uh, timing is being set with a 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, and so on. And the speed corresponding to those timing is set up by 86, 87, 88, 89, and so on. So that's the way that this, the system is going to work. Okay, uh, as you can see, I don't have the pump house, everything exposed in here. Uh, I do have three pump. One is the, in the right hand side is for my pond. The middle one is for my pool and the other one is a booster pump for the pool. The main one that is in the middle is a Hayward. And I have three of those. They keep going out every three and a half years or four. And Typically, just the control module goes out. That costs about $500 or uh, three, four hours of my time to repairing the, uh, the little uh, chip that they do have. It keep going out. Uh, I already repaired a couple of them and I got tired of it. This time, as I explained before, I'm using the different inverter to running the pump. So as I uh, explained that to you guys, I removed the display, I installed that junction box. So in the morning, this blue heaven box that I do have, is just gonna turn on automatically at eight o'clock in the morning. It's gonna give a power, come to this junction box. And that cable that I do have right in here is gonna be uh, gauge 12 five wires in there is a little overkill you can just use the gauge 14 too 
uh, it's bringing two two of them they bring in the power up to the inverter and three of them it's going to bring them back from the inverter to the pump that they get connected inside of this junction box right in here uh, my inverter is inside this box that i built this uh, built out of the aluminum i'm using the angle aluminum in the end with a rivet to connecting these sheets this sheet i bought them and the angle aluminum from the home depot angle aluminum cost me about 12 dollars each one of these sheets that you can see i bought two of them uh, they are 18 by 24 i bend them up mm, 10 inch right in here and each side is going to be seven the the one that is inside i think is a nine and a half and then i bend them up evenly in the both side i use the little uh, stud uh, one eighth of the inch that is connecting these two sheet together that you can this thing can swing in and out easily like this to get access to the uh, inverter right there that is installed on top of the aluminum again another aluminum sheet in the back that i do have that one i installed two fan in the top of it because uh, the, again this is sitting right on the sun and uh, it's very close in close uh, box in here it doesn't have enough room around it so the two fan that you see in the top is using the 240 it does have an adapter the power that it brings in 240 inside this box i just brought them up to this inverter i bought this two fan from amazon i install them on top of the inverter every time the inverter is coming up while the inverter is on those fan they are running continuously running when the inverter goes off those fan goes off so I use this clip right in here that I do have right in here to put it right there that I'll be able to hold the leads up like this. I'll show it to you guys how this thing does work. Well. And as I said, the cable that I do have five wire gauge 12 is in there. Three of them is three, taking the three phase to the motor and uh, two of them bringing the 240 to this inverter. If I didn't have uh, buy the inverter and i was going to buy them now i was using the 4k instead of 3k because this 3k is pretty close to the rating of the model so if you want to have a better headroom buy the 4k it costs you about 30 40 dollars more i think i bought this one around 150 the fan i bought them for about 25 dollars with a adapter that it came the cable cost me about 12 15 dollars each one of this sheet that is 18 by 24 from the uh, Home Depot. I bought them about $10. And this is stock cost about $1.50 with the screws. You need about a couple of dollars for the screws. And then we can just put them together like this. It's very, it's well constructed. Hopefully it's not gonna rust it. And as I said, I'm in Austin, Texas, and this is sitting right on the west and it's getting really hot. So those fans, they're running right now, it's running for about two weeks, no problem. I'm running them from eight o'clock in the morning till five in the afternoon. It's ramping up for maximum speed, about five minutes stay in the maximum speed. Then it majority of the time is in a 2000 RPM, except the time for one hour in between. I set them up somehow that when the booster pump coming on, the speed is going to go up to the 2200 rpm and then it's going to go back to the 2100 and then follow with the 2000 and then keep cycling through this it never goes back to the initial priming is right after priming the timing is going to keep cycling So I'm just gonna close this thing right now. As you can see, this thing can go down just like this. I'm probably gonna put a piece of magnet right in here. When you open them up, it's just gonna attach right there that I don't use this clip anymore. But for right now, I just leave this clip as right in here. Again, uh, the wiring right in here, inside of this is gonna be a three phase. The three phase that is right there, I just brought the three phase inside this box. The power that is used to come from the blue heaven is just going to go through this, goes through this cable and is coming inside of this. That is going to get connected. Uh, that is going to get connected to the uh, five, five wire that I do have right in here. So three wire is going to take the three phase to the motor and two wire is taking the 240 volt to the, this inverter right in here. 
so this thing is programmed when the pump is coming up i program my uh, the blue heaven uh, remote that is going to tell to the system this is one speed model and the inverter from that moment is picking them up and it just go through all the cycling that you want as i explained this thing has a 16 different timer you can use as many as you want and whatever you don't use it's just going to get bypassed so if you use for instance four of them after it's done with the number four it's going to go back to the number one and it's keep cycling as long as it does have a power connected to it this cycling is keep continuously happening so let me just go back and show you the uh this pool is about twenty thousand gallon and this is the amount of the water that is coming uh, for the 2000 rpm I want to see how this inverter does work. I have three of those Hayward pump uh, that the cape module goes out of them and they are about $500 or so I have to spend three, four hours of the repairing on that is very tedious repairing. So I'm gonna use this inverter to see how long it lasts. If it lasts me two years, that's gonna be much better for me to just replacing $150 than $500 burning them on the uh, Hayward module. As I said, uh, I do have the several uh, eyelet around the pool that when the uh, booster pump is coming up, the RPM of the Hayward, I sync them with it. that timing. It's gonna go higher, that is circulating the water in the pool to keeping the pool uh, free of the algae. 